Kansas City, Missouri Health Department says the city reached its newest peak for COVID cases involving children. 275 children tested positive compared to the first week of June when the city reported 14 cases involving children. In the last five weeks, the U.S. hasn't reported a single day with fewer than 100,000 new COVID cases. Nine states seen here have more people in hospitals from COVID than at any point in the pandemic. Kansas and Missouri not among them. The CDC says hospital admissions will likely fall over the next month. And 2.8 million Americans took advantage of a special six month period to sign up for subsidized health insurance coverage made more affordable by the COVID-19 relief law. That's up 20% from the previous year. The president is urging Congress to extend financial help, which is available through the end of next year. Well, the food pantry at Morningstar Baptist Church hit a record. KMBC 9's Rebecca Gannon reports on the economic impact of the pandemic. Oh, right there. I need one back here. The line started moving at 10, five hours after the first cars pulled up. People need food, you know. You're good to go. And it didn't stop. It took less than two hours for Morningstar Baptist Church to break its own record. 408 people. Hot meal, please. 80 more than last week whittled away those piles of 25,000 pounds of food. People need, need, need food, they're hungry. The food may be the big draw on the outside, but organizers help people come and stay for what's on the inside. Since January, this facility has had 25,000 vaccinations in this room. You've been in here recently. And down the hall, help applying for jobs. When they come for one, they can get it all. All in one easy to access location. The community needs us. Help that's on track to break more records in the coming weeks. You good to go, sir. Rebecca Gannon, KNBC 9 News. The food pantry, vaccine clinic, and job assistance happen every Wednesday at Morningstar Baptist Church at 27th and Prospect. The cost of the coronavirus is something else that survivors have to get through as they recover. At the University of Kansas Health System, patients are facing bills in excess of $1 million. Some are more than $2 million. The financial impact is is just incredible. And and to think, too, I think the bigger picture, it's not just the medical bill, but the patient's not working. They don't have income coming in. So it's it's really getting hit from both sides. Doctors say vaccinations lower the risk of hospitalization and the risk of the financial burden the virus brings as well. COVID positivity rates are falling in Kansas and Missouri. 9% of COVID tests are now coming back positive in Kansas. It was over 10% two weeks ago. 10.9% of tests are positive in Missouri. It was 13% at the beginning of the month.